This is not your typical Windows desktop. It does not only just look good, but it also significantly improves how you use Windows. But don't be fooled, this isn't just another rainy to set up everyone's seen before. No, we went deep to find 5 unique tools most people don't even know exist. From a custom blur theme and a retro style status bar to features tailored for music lovers and coders, these tools will completely change your PC. Also for all of these tools we have especially checked that the performance impact stays minimal. With our help you will be able to build this setup in just a blink of an eye. By the way we're unknown tech and we've covered tons of content like this, so you're in good hands. With that said let's dive in. Let's start with a simple yet very unique change. A glass effect for your applications. It's a small change, yet you will notice it all the time as you see these every time you open up an application. To get this super cool effect, we need to head to this GitHub repo to install a tool called DWM Blur Glass. You can find a link to the page in the video description. By the way, you can also find all the links needed for this setup on our website where we also have some more infos on the setup for you. Now if you're on the GitHub page, you need to head to the releases page which you can access by clicking here. On this page, scroll to the bottom and download this file. After the download, you get a zip file, so let's extract the files from it. Just go into your download folder and right click the folder. Then click here on extract all and select the folder where you want to save the files. We recommend you to create a new folder for all the tools of this video. And just in case if you are wondering if these tools are safe, don't worry, the tools are known in the community and we personally check them with antivirus tools. Just make sure you get them from the official pages. To finish the installation, run the .exe file inside the app files. Don't worry about this message, it's just because the tool is not from a big developer but as I said it's nothing to worry about, just click on more info and run it anyway. This will automatically open a menu where you can change some settings of the app. But before we proceed with the setup, you need to do two really important steps. First hit install on the top of the menu, then click on symbol here and also hit install in this menu. Now let's just quickly fix some settings to improve the effect. Toggle blur radius on and then move it to 50. After that go in the advanced tab and change the effect type by clicking here and selecting arrow. Now just save the settings here. If you have trouble with the visibility you can change the color of the window title here. I would recommend you to change this color to white for this setup. Click on confirm and don't forget to save. You can also very easily remove the app if you don't need it anymore. Just click here on uninstall and then delete all the files in the folder. If you now open up your file explorer or your task manager or many other apps you will have this very unique glass-like effect on the top of the window. Personally, I find this really cool, especially compared to customization tools for your desktop, as you will notice these changes all the time, even when you can't see the desktop. Besides that, the tool only needs 0.16% CPU and just a very humble 2.5 megabyte of RAM, so it's pretty low on performance, which is also awesome. But these changes are still only visual, so let's install some mods that can also improve your user experience. Let's get to the real highlight. This retro-like status bar I have shown you in the intro. Not only does it just look amazing, it also provides you with tons of useful information like the current weather, your upload or download speeds and classic system relevant aspects. Again, we need to go to GitHub for this tool, which is called Yasp Reborn, but don't worry. There's also a link in the description so you can find it easily. Now this step is again very important. Before we can get to the real installation, we need to install a font for the top bar. Just use this link on the GitHub page or search for the font. The font comes in a zip folder, so again extract the files by right, clicking the folder and clicking on extract. As these are a bunch of files, I would advise you to extract them in your own folder. After that just open the folder you chose to put all the fonts in. Here mark all the .tf files and then right click and press on install. This will install all the fonts for you. With that out of the way, head back to GitHub to install the full application. With that click here on releases and scroll down on the page to download this file. In the downloads run the .exe file we just downloaded. Now you select a folder to store the files for the installation, create a new one and then select this new folder like I am showing it here. Press next to continue. Now click finish and YASB is installed. As you can see nothing changed yet, because we need to run the file first. For that go to the folder you installed the app in, then scroll to the button and run the .exe file. Now we also need the retro theme for the status bar. For that open your system tray and right click on this logo, then hit get themes. Actually, Asbury Born has tons of different themes, all with unique features, so feel free to look for the perfect one if you like. For this setup, we will go with the Spectrum Symphony one, just press install here to get it. This leaves us with this super cool and colorful status bar that gives a really cool retro vibe to your computer. Also, if you click here on the power off button, you get a super clean shot off menu. Before we continue with this tool, you also need to enable the auto start. Again, in the system tray, right? Click the icon and click on enable auto start. By the way, if you'd like to change the weather location, open up the system tray again and right, click the YASB icon, then click on config and in the file, explore open this file with the notepad. Now click on edit and then on find. Then type in location. 
Here, remove Los Angeles and type in the name of the city you want. For example, New York. Then just save it. And the best thing about all of this, the tool only takes up about 25 megabytes of RAM and uses just a mere 0.3% CPU as shown by the Windows Performance Monitor. This is quite good compared to other tools that do the same thing. If you still decide that you don't want this tool, you can uninstall it by running the installer again and then clicking on uninstall. All of this looks already great, but it's nothing without a great wallpaper. Before we get to that, let's remove those cluttered desktop icons as we can search for the apps anyway. Just right click the desktop and then navigate to view and click hide desktop icons. Now for the wallpaper, we will keep it simple with Wallpaper Engine, a quite popular tool. Unfortunately, it costs $5, but we will also show you a free alternative later. You can get the tool from Steam with the link in the description or from our website. After the installation, search up the tool and open it like this so we can choose the wallpaper. In the app in the discovery tab, search for mountains and on the second page, you will find this wallpaper called mountains. Click on it and then hit subscribe to apply it. This wallpaper matches perfectly the aesthetic of the retro taskbar and looks really amazing. But now let me show you the free alternative. The tool I'm talking about is of course Lively Wallpaper. You can get it from the Microsoft Store. I have also linked you the site in the description. Just press download here and everything will be installed for you. This tool uses custom video files as wallpapers. So let's download one that matches our aesthetic. I have chosen this forest wallpaper which you can download from this site also linked under the video. Now to set it up, click on add wallpaper, then press chose file and navigate to the downloaded video and hit open. This wallpaper is also a great fit for the overall aesthetic of the setup and it matches perfectly. Besides that, the performance impact is also acceptable, especially as these tools can turn off when you have apps open in full screen. Wallpaper Engine takes 0.35% CPU and 10 megabytes of RAM and Lively Wallpaper takes a bit more, but nothing to worry about. With the wallpaper, the setup already looks really professional, but it's still missing something. You are right, it's the taskbar. We will change this with our next tool, Windhawk. I really like this step as it will significantly improve the feel of your system as you can change a lot of the Windows UI with this tool. For example, you can give your start menu this retro vibe and make the taskbar much cleaner. Now let's get the tool from their website linked under the video. Run the downloaded file to start the setup process. The setup is simple, click OK here and now next. In this menu, uncheck desktop shortcut and press next again. Here select a folder to store the files of the app and then hit install. After the installation, this menu from where you can install tons of mods for your PC will be automatically opened. Let's install some mods now. For that, go to the explore tab and click on the start menu styler. Then click install. Don't worry about this message. The tools were all checked by professionals on GitHub, so they are safe to use. Just accept the risks. After that, go to the settings and from this menu, choose the road and style. Now hit save to apply the changes. The next mod is the taskbar styler. Again, click install and accept the risk to install it. As you can see, there are tons of different themes here, but we will use the rose pin one, matching to the start menu. The setup is the same as before. Go to the settings and in the menu, select rose pin and hit save. The last Windwalk mod is the notification styler. Again, click install and ignore the warning. Then go in the settings and in the menu, select the translucent shell and save everything. With this tool, we now have this super cool dock and retro like taskbar and a very unique start menu with lots of great colors. Also, your notifications now have a translucent theme which fits perfectly to the glass effect on the windows. What's also amazing is that this tool is super performance friendly because it almost needs no CPU power and only like one or two megabytes of RAM. The next step is a bit easier to set up. We will now install the widget for people who like to listen to music often. It's called Fluent Flyout and you can also get it from the Microsoft Store with the link in the description. After the install, you can open the settings through the system tray. In here, you can change a bunch of stuff, but for our setup, we don't need to change anything. You can assess the tool when you are listening to music with all the music shortcuts, for example, when you make the music louder or you skip a song. With this little menu, you can skip songs and pause them, and it also looks really cool. Besides that, it's also good optimized with 0.1% of CPU usage and 10 megabytes of RAM usage. We are almost done now, but I have a really cool Easter egg for you before we are finished. In this last step, we will customize your command app completely native with Windows. So it looks really cool, which is perfect for people who are into coding. Now to do this, first open up your terminal. Go to the settings by clicking on this arrow and then navigating to settings. First go to appearance and turn on acrylic material. Don't forget to save this step here. Now go on the terminal you want to change, for example, PowerShell. Then scroll all the way to the bottom and click on appearance. Now scroll all the way to the bottom and decrease the background opacity to 20% and check enable acrylic material. Click save to apply the changes. This will give you this gorgeous window-like effect. If you scroll a bit down, you can click here to use your current wallpaper as a background or you click on browse and select a custom image. With the background image, this effect also looks really cool. 
On the top of the appearance settings, you can select a good theme for the colors of your code so it's visible with your new background. If we look at everything together now, we have a very special retro like setup that looks professional unique and also offers some new functions for your windows. With the start menu and the blur theme, we also have some changes that you will notice all the time and with a minimal performance impact, the setup also fits on older machines. If you need more detailed information and all the links, you can also check out our website and for technical questions, you can visit our Discord. With that said, we would really appreciate a sub to the channel and a like on the video and feel free to comment some new suggestions in the comment section.